So, can you guess where I'm at? Horror Hound! I'm at Horror Hound. The year is 1994. The console wars between Sega and Nintendo are at its peak. Bret Hart just won the WWF Championship at WrestleMania 10, and it's one of the greatest years of cinema ever. Packed into a 1988 Dodge Ram Van B250, along with his brother, two friends, and their dad, a five-year-old Mark McKay visits the local Memphis drive-in theater to see Free Willy. After the movie, all the kids fall asleep and the dad stays up to watch the second feature. The second feature is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Well, all the kids were asleep, except for one, and that's your boy Mark McKay. So for the past 30 years, one man has haunted my nightmares. And for the past 40 years, that man has haunted millions of other nightmares. That man is Robert England. So he was announced to be the headliner guest at Horror Hound, so I had to go. Let's face it, uh, I've been going every year for the past 10 years, so I was gonna go anyway. So my objective is to complete two quests this weekend at Horror Hound. Quest one, finally meet the man of my nightmares, Robert England. Quest two, confront Cole Sprouse and ask him, why didn't he show up to my birthday party at Margaritaville? You saw the invite, Cole Sprouse. I know you saw it. Why didn't you come? Why didn't you come? Why didn't you come? Um, uh, sorry about that, but uh, watch that video for context. So we're back again at Cincinnati, Ohio for my favorite horror convention, Horror Hound Weekend. I always have tons of fun at these conventions. Right away, I run into my favorite line guy, Stuart Guy, but he was uh, wicked busy and I didn't want to interrupt him and ask him to sign my wristband again. Spam the comments with we love Stuart Guy. And since it's day one, this is the day I like to do all my shopping. And the vendors there, always great. You have this guy who has these wooden pieces from my favorite horror movies. The bootleg toy guy who always has some awesome stuff. Living dead dolls. This guy had gremlins and ghoulies and just other awesome props. There's vendors with great artwork that decorate my whole house. The demonic snowman and a staple, the Ghostbusters. Oh, and this guy, he had recreations of screen accurate Michael Meyer costume. He also had literal screen used props from Thanksgiving. I come across the Elm Street 3 on cassette. That's the one with Doc and I. A lot of these VHS movies that I have never seen. Because of all the crap that's happening. Uh, not seeing Joe Hendry. There was tons of booths that had movies, and this one had some of the strangest ones. Some of the movies I picked up, Freddy vs. Jason, Dude Bro Party Massacre 3, The Faces of Death Collection, Spookies, this, this is a very confusing movie, and the Power Rangers movie. Wait, that's not horror. But I have not seen this since I was like seven. Like how Freddy's telling you to suck it. Then I make a stop at the Masker video tape. Last time I was here, you sold me Black Pass, completely blind. Yeah. Watched it and I fucking loved it. Uh, it's one of my best sellers. Yeah. So I was looking to see if you guys had uh, something similar. Similar that blind buy that I would uh, I would love. Man, this one is so good. But, all right, I'll grab these two guys. Right. He gave me his suggestions and I got Spine, another shot on video horror movie. And this movie that I legally cannot say on YouTube. Then it's time to meet some guests. The first guest I meet is Eric Friedman from one of my favorite Christmas movies, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. That's the uh, garbage day. That, that's that one. He was blown away that I genuinely liked Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. And we immediately start talking about the importance of physical media. He was an incredibly nice guy and he even signed my Blu-ray. Also wrote Garbage Day on it. Next guest is Harry Warden himself, Peter Cowper from My Bloody Valentine. So a while back, I helped get the My Bloody Valentine board game made. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to get Harry Warden to sign it himself. He was also an incredibly cool dude. Day two is the day that all of the cosplays just come out. People go above and beyond when it comes to their costumes. Ran into Art the Clown, a trio of Ghostface, freaking Lego Jason. Kabuki Man! <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, this giant moth. 
That is a badass costume. Thank you. So as I walked through the con floor seeing everybody's awesome costume, I also kept seeing striped sweaters, claws, and the fedoras of my nightmares. I've been to dozens of conventions where Robert England was a guest, but he always manages to sell out before I have a chance to meet him. Oh, in Mask Fest, artists from all over create these intricate, scary, amazing masks. You got the monsters, cartoon monsters, all the zombies from the Romero films, Travis from Taxi Driver. That looked eerily close to Robert De Niro and Jack Torrance. Real quick, I swear to God, I thought it was a guy going to come to life and scare people. It wasn't. It was just an incredible piece of art. David Bowie from Labyrinth, Beetlejuice. Next guest I'm ready to meet is Tuesday night. Tuesday was incredibly nice. She signed my Freddy glove, and she also gave me this photo from part four. And she also wrote her phone number on the back of it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. But she was really cool, and we recreated that photo. Day three. As usual, I'm having way too much fun at this convention. So much fun that I completely forgot to complete my two quests. So I'm storming through the hallways looking for Cole Sprouse. And I just want to ask a simple question. Why didn't you show up to my birthday? You saw the message. I know you saw it because it said seen on the message and you didn't show up. You didn't even say, sorry, I can't make it. You just didn't show up. God damn it, Cole Sprouse. Uh, sorry. So anyway, I'm looking for Cole Sprouse, asking him, why didn't he show up to my birthday? So yeah, why didn't you come to my birthday? Uh, I forgot. You owe me a gift now. I'll buy you a gift. So that was it. He promised he's going to give me a big gift, and he was really cool about it. In fact, you could say he was sweet. See what I did there? You get it? He was on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. And I also met Catherine Newton, and both of them were in Lisa Frankenstein, which is one of my favorite movies of the year. So after Cole Sprouse promised me a big gift for my next birthday, I felt confident to finally take on the final boss, Robert England. After a long weekend, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling exhausted. I'm starting to fall asleep waiting in line for Freddy Krueger. I go in and Robert England was nice, he was pleasant, he was an incredible guy. He was like, throw your claws around me. I'll throw my claws around you. We're the two coolest Freddies here. I finally got to meet the man of my nightmare. And he lived up to those dreams. And none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for Horror Hound putting on another incredible show. I had an amazing time, and I'm looking forward to going back again. If you see me, say hi.